Good morning, I'm meteorologist Corey Thompson with this forecast update. Your zone cast for today has temperatures in the 50s around the area. Coldest in the north, a little bit warmer in the south, much like we saw yesterday, that kind of split between the north and south. But a decent amount of sunshine at times. There will be patches of clouds that will be present at times as well. Kind of a mixed bag there. It'll be less windy generally, though. That's the good news as we go over the next several hours after a couple of breezy days. So a bit of a break there. But notice how after perhaps some partial clearing this morning, we see occasional cloud patches develop, especially across the central and south and northern zones. Much more likely to see sunshine for a good portion of the day. As we head toward tonight, a decent amount of clearing is possible, but some of those clouds clouds will be a bit stubborn. Now starting off on Friday, we'll have at least partly to mostly clear skies. Things do turn cloudier though as we go through the day. Winds will be a bit more breezy and this time from the south on Friday and that will provide warmer temperatures as we wrap up the work and school week. By Friday evening, clouds thicken up a bit and a disturbance approaches the area. Notice how the chance for showers and a few thunderstorms starts to increase there. A few of those storms, the stronger ones, could contain some small hail as this disturbance moves through. We'll have enough cold air aloft for that to be possible. Enough energy too builds up during the day. We'll see that uh, shift out of the area though by later Friday night to early Saturday. So even by the time you wake up on Saturday morning, we're probably talking a break from precipitation for most of the day. That does highlight our weekend forecast, the start where temperatures will get close to 60 again, thanks to the drier weather. But then Sunday carries another chance for showers and maybe a few thunderstorms too. Of course, a big holiday weekend for many. So we get past that Friday chance and gets us into Saturday with that dry weather, as we just noted. And then into the weekend, uh, notice how things change again as we head towards Saturday night. Precipitation starts to move in late from the west and affects us potentially during the morning on Sunday in particular. But then additional rounds of showers and maybe even a still a rumble of thunder uh, will approach on Monday. Your nine-day forecast reflects that reality there. We do have that chance, uh, especially as we wrap up the weekend and start next week. A few showers could linger into early Tuesday before really tapering off. That will be the coldest day of the next several before things uh, turn the other way. And in fact, pretty substantially. We could be talking mid to upper 60s by the end of next work week. Thanks for watching this update.